All right, we're back rolling. This is part three of why Native Americans are Asians. This is basically a response video to the previous two videos of the same title. I'm reading the comments and I'm just going over the comments right now. So if you commented on the first two videos, I'm probably going to read your comments and respond to them. It's quicker to just do it this way. So to summarize the video real quick, I did two videos in Thailand like a year ago uh, before the lockdown and stuff. And uh, it was basically about why Native American Indians or whatever are basically Asians. And I presented my case and whatever. So the video got a lot of dislikes. Okay, the first one. Part one, it actually got 24 likes, 13 dislikes. And part two got four likes and 16 dislikes. That's a lot of dislikes. <laughs> and I think they're actual real people. I don't think nobody's fucking with me. I think there's people, a lot of people really just dislike what I have to say. So, you know, whatever. I'm just going to read the comments here and uh, throw my little two cents into each one, I guess. Okay, first comment on part one of the video. Uh, Tommy Truth, nine months ago. It is more than a theory that you have there. It is a fact. Native people in all of the Americas have a biological link with Asians. Most of them don't acknowledge it because they don't know the fact. Next comment. Amanda Shera and co three months ago. I'm Asian and one time a Native American and a Caucasian, different occasion. That rhymes. <laughs> a Caucasian on a different occasion. Okay, I'm Asian and one, t and one time a Native American and a Caucasian different occasion told me I looked like a Navajo Indian. Not that I want to claim or have pride. They just told me I looked like one of those tribes. And this girl Amanda is saying that she's Asian and she got mistaken for a Navajo Native American. Those are her words, not mine. I'm, I don't know these people, but I'm just telling you what they say. Okay. Next guy. His name says Ryan Shithead one month ago. That's your username. Wow. <clears throat> My friends always ask me if I'm Korean, Japanese, or Chinese, but I'm actually Native American. Whatever you say. Kaori, five months ago. I'm half Cherokee, and yes, I absolutely agree what you're saying, and I do acknowledge I have Asian lineage, but i having quite difficulties having a hard time to connect to which Asian lineage I belong to. Do you might know where most Native American ancestors in North America might have came from, like China, Japan, Indonesia, and Korea? Again, I'm not the expert in this category, but let's click it because on this thread, nine other people replied. See what they have to say. Um, what part of Northeast Asia are most Native Americans related to? I'm only giving my assumptions. I'm probably not the best person to ask in this department. Uh, but somebody wrote them back. Namjoon stole my cookies, username, one month ago. Kaori, you're so considering you're part Cherokee, you should already know, but you need to do your research. It's obvious the Cherokee have some Chinese and Korean origins. For one, the language sounds like a blend of Mandarin and Korean, and the Cherokee national anthem is actually Old Korean. The Cherokee are definitely not Southeast Asian, but actually Northeast Asian, along with all other native tribes. And that's from username Namjoon Stole My Cookies. I don't know where Namjoon is from, but you can see them in the comment section. It is what it is. I'm going to give them a thumbs up and a heart. <laughs> all right. Kaori says, Nam June, I'll sure do some research on that. Really appreciate you sharing with me. It really helped. What else? Oh, Button Quell says Mongolia as well, as pointed out in Metal Gear Solid 1. Uh, what else? EBK, it says it's been genetically proven one month ago. 
Robert Bazzara two months ago. The funny thing is when I went to a Native American college, the some students thought the Native Americans being Asian was a myth. Well, reality and fiction. What do they say? Next guy, Moser Moser. Come to Tijuana. Okay, I'd like to do that actually. Eric Banuelos, Shimmy, what site do you put the videos with the Thai girls on? <laughs> Just search for Shimmy Cash. Google it. Ocean Eye 69 says, I'm part Native, Native American, and Irish. Do you want to be on India Girls? <laughs> Email me, DM me, as they say. Destiny, four months ago. I think the real reasons we don't really acknowledge it is because the fact isn't well known. Because of this, other Asians don't really acknowledge the fact either. And in a way to stay peaceful and not to offend, we don't really bring it up. In addition to this, most native DNA is actually a mix of African and Asian descent, so our looks can be a little different than the traditional Asian appearance. I feel like since we aren't known to be from Asia, it isn't acknowledged as us being Asian. Well, it's uncommon information. That's what the internet is for. So you have answers to these things. Yeah. Next person, Big Bine8032, one month ago. This everybody out of Africa, in quotes, theory, doesn't mean shit. Some of us Africans are tired of the Euros and Asians. <laughs> ah, they've invaded Mama Africa, have they? <laughs> Your real estate is cheap, homie. Next is AS0211, 10 months ago. The hominoids... Big word. The hominoids who left Africa lived and flourished in Southeast Asia during the Ice Age. Most of Southeast Asia was one big land mass now called Sundaland. When the ice melted, the water level rose and covered up most of the land, resulting in now disjointed islands. The seafaring Austronesians that inhabited Southeast Asia migrated all over the world while other Australoid and Austronesians traversed the Beringia landmass that then connected the Europe to Asia and say some of those, yeah. Hey. Interruption. Interruption. See, there's always interruptions to my YouTube videos. All right, okay, I gotta pause it. Hold on. I'll be back.